Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. My name is Crypt. It's been a very long time, but I'm back to the game. And um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to modify your simple Lua script. So this is not a continuation of my previous series. It's just another video that teaches you how to quickly modify your simple scripts. Okay. So this is simple script that's available on my website. Okay. Which is in the script description of the video. All right. So this simple script um, is very easy to modify. Okay. So as you can see right here, we need a few things to be true. This is a function, as you guys know, it's a function, right? Every single time we do any events on your mouse, uh, which means every single time you press any key, you release any key, anything like that, it will call this function. And then that will call this output log message, which will output something to the screen. Uh, here we have a conditional, which basically is something that verifies if something is true or false. Um, and something like that. It's like a condition, all right? So if the key lock, non lock is on, then we're going to execute all this code, which here you have if is mouse button press three, which three is a right click, then we're going to repeat this code right here. Okay. Basically, this code, we're basically repeating this loop. Okay. As long as you have the right click button press, it's going to repeat this loop right here. Okay. Which this loop basically checks to see if you're shooting, if your mouse button press is left click, and if it is, then it's going to be repeating this loop, which this is actually the moving. This moves the mouse down three. Okay. Which since it's down, it's vertical. It's a vertical movement. And here it's a sleep. Sleep in milliseconds. Okay. All right. So that's basically how we have everything here. All right. So here we know it's a function. Here's just a message output to the screen when function is ran, is run. Uh, conditional check if non lock is press or activated. Actually, activate is a better word. Activated. Uh, conditional check if right click is press. It needs to be press. Loop. And then we're going to loop to the conditional check if left click is press one is left click. Okay. We're able to assign one as one is equal to left click three is equal to right click and two is equal to middle click. And then here we have another loop, which this loop does all of these here. Um, and then our loops need to end, right? If we have a loop, right? We need to have an end to a loop. So for this condition over here, Right, and for this loop right here, the end is this. So we're gonna keep checking here everything here until we let go of the mouse button three. So we're gonna keep checking everything here until we let go of the mouse button three. Okay, we're gonna keep checking everything here until we let go of the mouse button one. And for every single conditional and function in this lower script, you're gonna need the end which signals for the end of the conditional and or function. Okay. So over here, we have one conditional. The end statement for this conditional is over here. We have another conditional over here. The end statement for that conditional is over here. And I have another conditional uh, right here. The end statement for that condition is right here. Okay. We have loops. The end for the loop is until not. We have another loop right here. The end of the loop is until not. So, that's just so you know how things work because I have a lot of people on my Discord server sometimes asking questions and they're like, why isn't it working? Like, why isn't my code working right now? Like, what's going on? Why isn't my code working? Well, right now, if your code is not working, you have this specific code, right? It's because you forgot to end your loop. You forgot to end your loop, right? So let me add the end right there. There you go. Right. Sometimes people forget to add an end statement. Right. Like for sometimes people have like just not enough ends. They're not ending their argue their function. Right. And then you have a, a you have a syntax error at the bottom right here saying line fifteen. Syntax errors is usually an error that has to do with like um it's usually a user error. Like you type something wrong, you forgot to end the function, you forgot a parenthesis somewhere, it's just something like that. Right. When you look for your syntax error, look for the line 
their start set and then look to see, look after the line, right? Look after the line and look before the line, see if you find anything, right? Look for the entire function. In this case, I know it's the conditional, right? That's missing. So the error is not actually in this line 15. The error is the line afterwards. I'm missing an end statement. There you go. Okay. Very good. So it's just so you guys understand a little bit how these Lua script work. It's pretty straightforward, honestly. Uh, of course, this Lua script is a very simple one, but the logic is still the same. You need to finish your functions. You need to end your functions. You need to understand how things work, how each conditional um, connects back to your whole script, how everything just makes the beauty of cheating works, basically, right? How everything makes the be beauty of this um, script work, right? There's a whole beauty behind this, right? You just need to understand the beauty so that you don't get any more errors, all right? So again, guys, as you guys know, I have a Discord server. Um, if you want to go my Discord server, it's fairly simple. Simply go to the description of this video. Click on the Discord link and you're going to go to my Discord server. On my Discord server right here, I have some announcements, okay, that I make very often, all right? I make announcements pretty often. Telling you guys about stuff, telling you guys about, like, the most recent announcement was about some scams that happened, right? You don't want to fault those scammers, um, right? So I have some announcements here that I make. Almost every single video I make an announcement for, things like that. I have a rules and information, which has a rules here of the server, okay? Uh, basically, the rules of the server and the information of the server, all right? Pretty straightforward. I have an information category right here, which represents all the videos that I have posted so far, all right? Every single new video is going to be posted in here, okay? I have an info apps, which tells you what app is she using for what, okay? Right here, you have Vilucity, what is she using for? Um, how to download, where to pay, and things like that. All right. Um, this chat is only for Nitro boosters. Okay, if you're Nitro, you can see this chat. That chat basically provide like um discount codes, promo promotion codes, which you buy stuff at a lower price. Chat over here is where people sometimes ask for my help. People over here are always asking for help on the chat. Questions is also where you can ask for questions. Right. Um, you game if you want to find somebody to play with, you can come over here to game invite. You can invite people to play your games. Chilling is where you can just come over here and just play music. Literally, just be muted and like play some music. You can talk to other people. You can ask help. You can share your screen. Level up is a level up system that um basically as you interact in the server, you're gonna level up. And that's pretty much it. Here I have a little quick coding tutorial for you guys too. Um, very quick. Um, I also provide a few books that you guys should definitely get and a few videos. Okay. These are books right here. All right. So open CV tutorial too, which is very powerful. Anyways. So the most important things are announcements. So you, as you guys join my server, you're going to be welcomed right here on this screen. Okay. And then you're going to check the announcements immediately after that. And there's going to be new videos there and things like that. Anyways, guys. So I thank you. I appreciate it and have a nice time.